So we've uh, lined the dish and we've got um, either Astra or uh, uh, one of those satellites. Probably Astra is the easiest one to find. And if you go to the uh, west slightly, you get another one. This is this one is probably um, is it Barder or whatever. Uh, now you can see that we had. Um, the frequencies there for the uh, satellite television. We changed the frequencies to uh, Oscar 100 and the, SSR, uh, the SR to 2000. The um, uh, video and um, DB uh, let's see, I can't read it even. <laughs> uh, and, and then we just pan the dish um, slightly to the west and uh, on my controller there's uh, you can either step the dish or uh, continuously move so you just step it uh, step it at a time and it does about half a degree I presume something like that may even be less and you can uh, step it to the west and suddenly up comes uh, Oscar 100 uh, the, these are two uh, receivers, one's the uh, version 1 on the right and version 2 on the left and the one, the uh, screen below is the uh, Spectrum from Goon Hilly. There you are and satellite's received and I pan through the signal and then back in the middle. It's about six steps of uh, the satellite motor through the signal so uh, I pan it through six steps and back three to be uh, centered on the signal now for you that's um, at half resolution this screen so uh, we'll do the same again just looking at the uh, mini Turin uh, version 2 output so that will be coming up in a few seconds So there we are, we've uh, tuned it to uh, the right SR, 22,000 up there, and uh, the uh, television signal. Then we switch it over to uh, the Oscar 100, and uh, obviously that wasn't Astra, that was the other one that's near uh, on 26 degrees. And uh, then we just pan the satellite dish slightly through the signal. You can see it there. That's every time it flashes a little bit like that. That's me stepping the motor, and you can see the mirror going up. Five, is it? Uh, you go through it um, and come back. One thing. I found is uh, you get uh, increased if you have it on auto like this up there auto your uh, signal to noise goes down a bit so uh, it's best to go to pre stacked it like that up there and uh, you get slightly better results and that's it development in Qatar. SHALESAT has initiated development of new technology for the Qatar Amateur Radio Society. As part of that initiative, SHAL2 will enable the, enable the Radio Amateur Satellite Corporation's first ever geostationary communication capability. That's going to connect users across the globe in real time and it's expected to usher in a new exciting era 
for radio amateurs in the 21st century. Let's take a look at a video from SHALESAT about their satellite. In 2010, the Qatar Satellite Company, SHALESAT, was established to manage and develop a sustainable national satellite industry. Entering into a strategic partnership with UTELSAT to operate a high-capacity satellite for Qatar's broadcasting, telecommunication and internet services. And Space Systems Laurel was selected to build the first high-performance satellite, SHAL-1. It would take three years to build and weigh approximately six tons, eventually orbiting 36,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Space Systems Laurel provided SLSAT with an intensive two-year satellite engineering internship program for four engineers to become the country's first satellite engineers. In 2012, Ariane Space was selected to launch SL-1 from the French Guiana spaceport. And SL-1 entered into service on Qatar National Day 2013, with SLSAT's 24-7 management center in Doha monitoring TV channels, business and data services. In 2014, SLSAT selected the Mitsubishi Electric Company to build its second satellite. And in 2015, a state-of-the-art teleport facility began construction in Doha, which is now nearing completion and set to open by the end of 2018. Meanwhile, the Mitsubishi Electric Company completed work on SL2 and shipped it to SpaceX Cape Canaveral, Florida. Now, SL2 is ready for launch and the journey of SLSAT will continue. SLSAT, space to deliver your vision. Well, can I take a figure for flight? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Telemetry nominal. Now we've had successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 vehicle as it carries S Hale 2 uh, communication satellite to geostationary transfer orbit. Now we've cleared the towers and we are ascending. The next major milestone as we come up is max Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will experience as it goes through the thicker parts of the atmosphere. As we get higher, the density of the atmosphere decreases and there's less and less load on the vehicle. You should hear the call out for that soon. Aerodynamic pressure. And we've had max Q, so again, decreasing pressure on the vehicle as we continue to ascend through the thinner parts of the upper atmosphere. Now we're coming up on a sequence here where a few show. events will happen in very short succession. Those events are MECO, stage separation, and then SES 1. Those stand for MECO, main engine cutoff stage separation, and then SES, which is second engine start number one, the first of the two planned burns today. And those are Miko's when we shut off the nine Merlin engines of the first stage, and then once we've shut those down, we separate the two stages, and then once the stages are separated, the second stage engine, the Merlin vacuum engine, is exposed to space and it will begin burning. That will happen over the span of about 10 seconds, starting about 20 seconds or so from now. Again, main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start. Go ahead, stage separation.
stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And we have had second engine start as the orange glow appears to brighten up the Merlin vacuum engine in the center of your screen. Again, transitioning the responsibility. Second engine start. And we've had second engine start number two as that Merlin vacuum engine relights, which is not an easy feat to do out in space to relight a vacuum engine like that. Now this burn will last. Spacecraft separation confirmed. And there it is, a beautiful sight as S Hale 2 floats away again well, to provide we'll communications from geostationary orbit. Today was a wonderful day. Uh, we'd like to extend a great thanks to our customer, S Hailsat, for entrusting us with today's mission. And surprisingly, SpaceX's first mission ever to be attempted in the entire month of November. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم معالي الشيخ عبد الله بن ناصر ال ثاني رئيس مجلس الوزراء وزير الداخليه الموقر اصحاب السعاده الحضور سيداتي الفضل كنت اود ان اكون معكم في هذا الاحتفال الكبير والذي يكتب ان دوره قطر سباقه في القضايا التكنولوجيه والتطوير التكنولوجي مما أيضا من رؤية 2030 يجعل دولة قطر لديها نهضة صناعية ونهضة يعني متطورة والآن نحن حققنا معظم الأهداف والرؤية اليوم يشرفني أن أكون معكم عن بعد كنت أود أن أكون معكم عن قرب ولكن كلكم تعرفون الأحوال الصحية التي واجهتها وان شاء الله انا اتخيل ان شاء الله انني سوف اعود اذا ما اراد الشهر القادم. اليوم طبعا انا يعني هذا الاحتفال اللي نشهده سويا آه لتدشين مرسل هواه اللاسلكي عبر القمر الصناعي سهيل سات اثنين وهذا هي اول مره في العالم يكون هناك مرسل ثابت للهواء على قمر صناعي مثبت في مثبت وثابت وهذا طبعا نوعيه يعني تثبت قطر كيف انها صبرت الفضاء وكيف انها ايضا اصبحت يعني لديها اقمارها الصناعيه واصبحت لديها البحوث وبالنسبه لتطوير يعني تكنولوجية في الفضاء وأود أن هنا أركز لأن دولة قطر يعني كانت سباقة في في 
ارسال هذا الخبر الصناعي سات 2 واشكر يعني إدارة سيف سات على مع على التعاون مع الجمعية القطرية للاتصالات التركية في هذا العمل الفريد من نوعه. وطبعا نحن نرى ان جمعية قطر للهواة للهواة الاتصال التركي جمعية تطورت على الزمن واصبحت من اهم جمعيات الهواة اللاتركي في العالم. الان انا طبعا سوف انادي وهذه لاول مرة ننادي على هذا المسيار المخصص للهواة الاتصال اللاتركي واسمحوا لي ان اقوله بالانجليزي سي كيو سي كيو سي كيو سي كيو سي كيو سي كيو دي اكس This is Alpha 71 Alpha United. I'm, you know, uh, I'm talking to you through the in the occasion of the inauguration of Sohail Sat to uh, uh, the channel who has uh, precisely uh, for the radio amateur, and this is the first time in in history that you will you will receive receive us clearly. And we will receive you nine by nine. I hope this it will accumulate it and give all the you know the amateurs all over the world the opportunity to use uh, our channel and communicate it with our uh, from uh, you know our uh, organization. Uh, the Qatar Radio so uh, Society would like to thank you and thank the whole uh, amateurs in the whole world. Thank you very much. وشكرا ومع السلامه